yeah, I probably should uh, invest some into armor as well because I'm, I'm still running around naked. Hello gamers, I'm Bertuari and welcome to the first episode in our Ark Builder series. Yes, a builder series as you can clearly see, I already have my builder's helmet equipped and well, the crazy fellas, or the crazy folks actually, uh, have decided to go on a building spree and we decided to uh, make one server with a lot, of, a lot of mods focused around building and uh, a new map, well for me a new map, it's the center, I already logged on a few times on a server with the center map but I didn't really explore anything here and well they kind of decide we will be making some building related videos on this server and scripter and Bowden are already here i know a uh, little eagle is here as well and probably a few more but i haven't seen them yet i haven't seen their basis bases yet but uh, yeah we, we're here in the underworld on the center and Bowden and scripter have already been building some stuff in here and the idea is to make this whole cave here the underworld cave to make this some form of a yeah let's say a theme park some something like that and uh, well skipter has the great idea of making uh, every uh, how should i call it every biome available in here by using uh, the stuff we have from the mods so we will have uh, some uh, zoo stuff with uh, some uh, a desert biome and a tree forest biome and a snow biome and whatever and a little bit of everything and yeah i've been walking around this thing this uh, cave for a while now and been thinking okay what can i do what can i do and yeah i didn't know i had absolutely no clue I know I'm building the cathedral on our uh, Mod Scorch Earth server, but uh, yeah, I could be doing the whole build over again up here. But, but I think, yeah, all that work, all the gathering of the goods and all the gathering of the materials and starting all over again, nah, not really. So I talked a little bit with Bowden and Scripter and Scripter said, well, why not, uh, why not go ahead and build something around the pillar you see up there this pillar there and the idea is to build a little well maybe a harbor maybe some fishermen viking related harbor and buildings up around that thing meanwhile well quick reveal this is scripters well community center house building where he already placed a lot of uh, uh, crafting stations and he has a few dinos so and i thought well why should i be starting everything all over again why can't we just use those things again it's a i think it's pretty insane for me to go ahead and collect all the materials to build all those crafting tables again and uh, especially since we already have them all here so uh yeah i fooled around a little bit checked a few things and uh, let me grab one of the birds mm -hmm. i'm gonna hop on messerschmitt and show you what has already been done uh, so scripter has been building here at the entrance of the cave oh yeah before i forget it it will be spawning in not quite sure what he has already done but Bowden has been working on his build with the castle mod and i love it i just love it i like what you can do with that and uh, especially the, this little pathway bridge thing it really looks nice with all the lamps and yeah i like it so this area is taken and the area where scripter is taking is taken and the idea is that i should be trying to build something up here this pillar here yeah the pillar right in front of me the problem is i don't have any dinos at all i have nothing to collect wood and i'm i'm kind of a little bit afraid to collect all the wood in here since i don't know how fast it will respawn 
Will Scripted need the threes here? Won't he be needing the threes? I have no idea. So I guess, well, I should just try to get started, get myself a dino or two, three, four, more, uh, especially uh, harvesting dinos. So I will need a high level beaver. I will need a high level um, ankylo. No, well, maybe an ankylo. I will need a high level dodicurus and maybe also a high level deer. Okay, well, apparently Scripter already has a high level uh, beaver, the veggie thief, the veggie thief. So why not hop on this one and go collect some wood with that instead? Yeah, I probably should uh, invest some into armor as well because I'm, I'm still running around naked. Actually, Scripter just sent me a, a little message. We do have the resource crop, crop plots on this server. And he told me that he already has a few set up. Here, a wood seedling. <laughs> he already has plenty of wood in here. Okay, this is looking a lot better. I have some armor, made myself some hide armor, and I also got a few of those wooden foundations. So I'm gonna fly over to the island, well, to the island, to the little uh, pillar where, well, where I might be building my thing. And uh, I'll have to think. I'll have to think that out really well. So this is the area where I will be building the house. But uh, this isn't all that flat. So I might have big problems. I thought I would be starting my build somewhere up here and then... Yeah, I was trying to point with my hand, but you won't be seeing that. And then head in, in that direction up there. But this is... Hmm. This won't be working out the way I expected. It's not all that flat. Okay, this is all too, too much. Yeah, you see it's already under the... Under the texture. Hmm. Mm, what I could do is use some of those, uh, what I call those landscape blocks to even out the terrain a little bit. That might be an idea too, but because this, this won't be working at all. You see, this will be one heck of a mess. It would actually look pretty nice on, on, on the rocks, but I need to get it even. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove everything, place the first block, I think, here, so that it sticks out a little bit, and then build out on that side. So I need a few things. First of all, I need water, and I need one of those demolition guns, and probably I will need a bit uh, of landscaping blocks. So I'm gonna check if I can build all those, and I will get back to you guys when I have an update. Okay, update time. Uh, I put some stuff, some materials, well, I needed materials in order to craft all the landscaping things. So I took uh, Scripter's uh, Rock Golem out for a spin, collected some uh, materials with that. And while it is crafting, I built myself my demo gun. So I'm gonna fly over to the little uh, pillar and demolish everything I've done. And I will show you, it's with the gun, it's it's a piece of cake, really. You just... Uh, Equip it, press your left mouse button, walk around. You don't he even have to be close to it. If you can point towards the item you want to destroy, then you're safe. Let me show you. Land, the bird, land. Yeah, okay. So equip the gun, oh, number four. And I play James Bond. Destroying everything I can. And, well, we will be starting all over anyway, so. Mm. Yeah, I suck at uh, shooter games, but I quite like this one. <laughs> they, they aren't shooting back, so I, I love it. Uh, okay, destroy this. 
and this can stay for reference. Okay, back with the last batch of stuff. And come on, let me off. Yep. And now I should be trying to place stuff so that it's... Hmm, let me have a look. I have the concrete blocks and this should allow me to... Oh, it's stuck in the scenery. Why? Okay, back with another update. And, well, uh, from the looks of it, I will need a lot more of those blocks. The terrain is a little bit uh, strange, so I will have to place those blocks all out up until the end. And uh, yeah, that probably means uh, a couple of thousand of those blocks. Hmm. Not really what I had expected. Um, I could probably build it a lot cheaper if I would use uh, pillars and uh, wooden walls and ceilings. Hmm. Hmm. Let me first have a look at how this looks from the outside. If I switch the textures to, what was it? B? Let's check how that looks. Nah. Don't like it. <sighs> I've built so many of those blocks now. Uh, well, I'm gonna destroy them all and start building with wooden pillars and wooden foundations and similar things. I think it will look better. At least, I hope so. So let me destroy everything, uh, build some stuff, play some stuff, and I will be back with you guys once I have an update. Let's go back to that little place Where we used to go in the summer days We dip our feet at the water's edge And everyone would come along to meet us there A competition to see who can trap for longer Cause every year my body's getting stronger We can swim all day and dance into the night But we're not coming home till the moonlight shines Till the moonlight shines do do do, -do.
while I think we have the floor plan of our main building ready, let me show you. <clears throat> As you can see, I had, have made a, a wooden thing, 10 by 16 blocks. And, uh, well, I already mentioned I decided not to go with the uh, landscape structure things because I thought it didn't... It didn't match what we had in mind. We had in mind some uh, some fisher village, maybe a Viking village, and uh, I don't think the Vikings or the fishermen would have placed concrete blocks below their buildings. Uh, I think that there were more people who built on pillars, and that's why I went with that approach. No, I also tried building the whole thing with uh, support on every two pillars, like you should have normally in arc. But apparently on our, on our server you're not uh, required to do that. You, we have, uh, what's, what's it called, Castle in the Sky mod or something like that. Oh, I have one broken up there. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, you don't really need to support everywhere. Once you have support on one thing, you can actually build uh, ceilings, ceilings as far as you want. Uh, oh, ah, crap. So let me, ooh, there is one in here. Let me show you what I mean. So this one, this one has support. Well, from here on, I can continue on as far as I want. I don't need any more pillars. That's a setting in the S plus thing, which allows you to do that. So we can build floating villages even if we wanted to. You see, normally in Arc, you shouldn't be able to do that. You would have, uh, to place a pillar every two found, uh, foundations or pillars in the... No, let me try that again. You would have to place two pillars every... Okay, one more time. Take a deep breath. Try again. You would have to, to place a pillar every two ceilings. Actually, this one. So I would have to place a, a pillar below this ceiling in order to be able to place this one and continue further on and further on and further on. But... Uh, that setting in the S plus, any stuff allows you to do that. And that's the main reason why I didn't place pillars everywhere. Not because it looked ugly, but uh, yeah, because I like it that way. And I think adding more pillars is, uh, in our case, adding excessive building blocks, which might cause lag in the end. Okay, let me remove both of these. Here we go. Yep, that's it. And the second reason why I didn't place pillars in here is that I'm thinking of putting up some gates, some dinosaur gates. Okay, I can't plot this one down. It looks... Ooh, there I had it. Yep. So the other reason I didn't put put pillars in here is because I'm thinking about uh, maybe hosting or housing even housing some dinosaurs in here not 100% sure yet but I might use this place to house some dinosaurs that would mean I would have to fence everything off so that they don't run away but hmm I can maybe use some wooden fences or wooden railings, I'll see what I can do. But I quite like it this way. Now the main problem will be, the main entrance will be up here. So, this here will be the main entrance. Let me show you from the other side. <sighs> yeah, I'm still upside down. How did I do that? Oh yeah, like that. Okay, we're getting there. And uh, now, uh, Mm, not even close to where I have to be. I should be here, yeah. Okay. There we go. Now you're ready. So this here will be the main entrance of this building. And in order to do that, I will need to find a way to get up and down. Since I'm thinking of building a, a few more houses along this rock. Not quite sure how I will do that. I don't really like the the spinning or the turning or uh, the round stairs at all. Uh, certainly not in this type of build. It should be 
as straight as possible. I have seen that you can actually use the some of those large stone blocks and place those uh, in order to create some kind of a stair in the sky. I might be playing around with that, but uh, I think that will be for the next episode since I've been doing enough building again for today. So this will wrap up today's first video in this building arc building series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, you can post those in the comment section below the video. And as usual, you can always reach me through Facebook, AskFM, Twitter, and all the social media websites. And you will find links to all those in the description as well. Of course, there is one more thing you can do to help me out, and that is hit the subscribe button. Not only will you help me reach my next subscribe goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I think this will wrap up today's episode. Until next time, have fun, happy building, and stay safe.